Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rasheen if you are new and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Before I get into the video, I am on my journey to 2k subs. So if you just clicked on this video, go ahead and click that subscribe button, like and share and comment on this video. I will also be doing a $100 Amazon gift card giveaway once I hit 2k subs. So subscribe anyway i am going to be doing just like a different kind of video i feel like this is the first video i've ever done on my channel like this i'll be doing like a chit chat get ready with me video i'm getting ready to go and i just wanted to like talk to you guys about something that is on my mind <laughs> okay um and as you can tell by the title i am going to be talking about like comparison and toxic social media culture especially as it relates to like instagram and tiktok <laughs> so if you're interested in this video stay tuned keep on watching um before i do that though i'm going to do my eyebrows which usually take me some time and if you see me looking off it's because i'm looking into the mirror right there but i'm going to do my eyebrows it takes i like i can't talk into my eyebrows at the same time so i'm just gonna do my eyebrows and come right back okay so we're back the brows are done i know i kind of look crazy right now but let's just trust the process okay so i just want to let's just get into the video i'm gonna start off with primer so i've never really been someone that has had like self-esteem issues or like um comparing myself to other people like while growing up and even like while using social media in the early days because i am like super self-aware and if i have an issue with myself I just fix it. I don't really look to other people for guidance or anything like that. Um, if I have an issue with like my body or like how I look or stuff like that, I see it. I know what I want and I fix it. Um, so I've never really like had like self-esteem issues. And I've also sort of um, used people as inspiration more so than like comparison, you know. Uh, I usually kind of just like see somebody that I like, maybe I like their style or, you know, I like their journey, um, whatever it is, and I'll look to them for like inspiration or motivation. I'm going to use this like foundation. It's kind of hard to talk and do my makeup at the same time. But social media now has gotten to a point where it's like, it's it's kind of becoming a, pro a problem and i'm going to talk about my personal experience i'm not going to talk for anybody else um i'm just going to just talk about like how i feel as it relates to like social media so i feel like prior to like the pandemic and stuff like that i was somebody that was just i want to be a content creator and i wanted to be but i didn't really like put that much effort into it i would just do like my youtube videos post my youtube videos um and like instagram specifically i would just like post my picture and come off like instagram i never even scrolled that much i would scroll on like my feed page but i didn't i never went on my explore page like i would just post and leave and that was it so i wasn't like super active i wasn't like trying to to grow my following or anything like that on social media so i would just come do what i have to do and leave so i didn't see much of what was going on and then like the pandemic hit right and then like everybody was on social media because we didn't have anything to do we we're all on lockdown so people were on social media all the time and like that included myself as well so i was on social media a lot and i started to use social media specifically instagram when i say social media i'm talking about instagram and tiktok but before I get into like TikTok, I was never on TikTok. I literally just recently joined TikTok. So at that point during the pandemic, while I was doing all that scrolling, um, it was just like Instagram. So I started to use Instagram the way it was meant to be used. I would go on my Explorer page, like actually um, like, watch people's reels and stuff like that. And I got like super inspired and I wanted to do like reels and all of a sudden i wanted to become a content creator great there's nothing wrong with that but in recent times i feel like social not recent times it has always been like this but the way i use social media now it has gotten to a place where i'm actually having issues with like comparison 
and stuff like that so what happened is that i continued to use like social media instagram the way it was supposed to be used and i start watching these people that are online and like seeing them their lifestyle and i'm like is this real you know what i mean i just started to question certain things um and the more i saw at one point it got to like a level where like i was super inspired and i was like wow like this is so nice this is amazing and the more i watched the more i started to feel a little bit demotivated so it got from motivating me and being inspired to kind of like demotivating because the content that i was consuming almost looked like unrealistic and unattainable for me but I never really realized that it was kind of like a subconscious thing that was happening and I didn't realize that that was what was happening to me but anyway fast forward to me like downloading TikTok um now that became a problem I told myself I was never gonna download TikTok TikTok is for like the younger generation the younger generation the Gen Z generation I held off for a very long time and I actually wanted recommendations for the most part from TikTok and I heard that like TikTok is really good for like recommendations and stuff like that. So I was like, let me just download it so I can search recommendations. Lo and behold, I got sucked into the TikTok world and I TikTok is set up in such a way where you just keep seeing videos as you know, it just videos keep popping up and when you like watch a certain video and the algorithm realizes that you watch that video for the entire video or you comment or you like it it starts to show you more content like that so the more i watch uh, of like content that i like the more tiktok showed me and i was like oh, but i really like this video and i really like this kind of content and i would like sit down for like two hours three hours straight just scrolling on tiktok scrolling on tiktok and it started to become a problem because subconsciously i would go from a state of feeling motivated by the content that I watched to feeling severely like demotivated, a little bit depressed. And it wouldn't happen at the same time. Like it would happen like maybe when I finish school or not or the next day and I realized that it was because subconsciously I was watching content like right before bed stuff like that and then waking up the next morning wondering like why do i feel sad like why do i feel unworthy why do i feel like my life is my life sucks which is not true but i i've been like watching like content of people doing certain things that like maybe i want to do and stuff like that and i realized that it was affecting me and i had to stop and think about it and i realized that a lot of people um do the same thing and they're not realizing that it's the content that they're consuming on tiktok and instagram that's really causing them to feel a particular way before social media the only thing that you really had to compare yourself with are the people that were like really in front of you that you saw on a day-to-day -day basis and because you saw them like on a day-to-day -day basis or in you like in the real world in reality you knew that it stopped at a certain point like they were not perfect because you would see them in person, you know that, you know, their bodies weren't perfect. Um, certain things about them weren't perfect. And you would still like them and get inspired by them. But, you know, you knew that they were real people, if that makes sense. On Instagram and on TikTok, it has become a whole different world with the girlies, no so much filters like the girl them under them body like i've never seen so much like poor people do bbl <laughs> in my life and i was like when did people get to a point where they could afford bbls like that like normal working class people i always thought like surgery and doing bbls and stuff like that were celebrities and really rich people no everybody i go br go get bbl done and stuff like that um, people are coming online and the main issue that I have is that people are coming online and they are pretending as if the like how they look is was naturally attained and that's the main thing there's no transparency when it comes on to social media 
um, people pretend as if oh like I went I get up every morning at 5 a.m. and I go to the gym and I work out I know I have this super snatch waist this big ass and yeah that's how I got it and they pose the bikini pics and they look cute I'm not saying I'm not a hater and I'm not saying that like there aren't people that naturally have bodies like that but you know that a lot of them don't and they come on social media and they put it out like oh this is like my natural body and they went to the gym and they work out and that's how it was attained and it's not true but like you as like a normal viewer who may be struggling with like body image issues maybe you want to lose a little bit of weight maybe you want to get some gains maybe you want to like get a nicer ass and look like that and you're flooded with all of this content of people that are coming on saying that they worked out to look the way how they look and it's not true them actually get all of this work done and put money into it and it really affects um like people's self-confidence and their self-esteem and it's one of the big issues that i have when it comes on to social media is the fact that people pretend and they lie they use filters they use they're, they're having fillers in their face they have fillers in their lips they do the beep they do all kinds of things to their body come on social media and portray to be like somebody that they're not and they're not like honest about it to say hey like this was done this was done that was done and i don't actually look like this in real life and sometimes even those same people that you see on social media that have all of this work done you see them in person and they look nothing like what you see them look like on social media because they use filters like i said they like edit their videos to get their body to look a particular way but then like when you're sitting down trying to you know maybe get motivated you are looking for a good laugh online um sitting on yourself and eating a bag, bag of chips and you're scrolling and consuming all this content that is showing people like um looking a particular way and then you look at yourself and you're like Ugh, i look disgusting you know and like why can't i look like that I, I want to look like that but it's not real you know what i mean and that's an issue that is like an actual issue it's a major issue um the next thing is like people that are like on social media and they portray a certain lifestyle so like you see them always traveling um and they're always like going out to like at a parties and like um restaurants and stuff like that mind you again there are people that actually can afford this lifestyle and actually genuinely have this lifestyle in real life but there are lots of people online that lie like it's not true or what they have to do to get that um one sec let me look for my contour thing magic the things that they have to do the things that they have to do to like get that lifestyle you would you would like be shocked about what like some of these girls and guys are doing to afford certain lifestyle but you sit there thinking that oh my god like this person went to this place um and they're traveling like six seven times for the year enough of them don't even work and you're like oh like i want that lifestyle that's what i want you know what i mean and who wouldn't want it come on let's be honest who wouldn't want to just like travel and not really like work <laughs> But nothing is in life is free and you have to work for everything you have to work for everything a lot of them like the mana scammer or thief they're doing some kind of illegal activities to get what they have you know what i mean um they scam men or whoops up men <laughs> as you jamaican like to say or like they're doing all kinds of like stuff to get what they have and kudos to them for like doing that if it works for them it works for them but as like a consumer of social media it is important to realize that a lot of things that you're seeing is not real and i've had to like really tell myself like actively like while i'm consuming the information that what you're seeing may not even be real if it's real it's real cool but just understand that a lot of the content that you consume is not genuine you know 
it really is in genuine and i just want to say that if you are somebody that struggles with like comparing yourself to other people and comparing yourself to people on social media stuff like that don't do it i know it's easy to say don't do it but don't do it um the life you are living is enough and if there's a particular life that you want for yourself you are on your way to getting that you know what i mean and you um it depends on of course the type of person that you are and if you want to get it the right way but know that nothing worth nothing in life worth having like doesn't come easy we all know that you have to work hard for it if you weren't born with a gold spoon in your mouth you have to work for the things that you want right and the only way the things come easy to you if you weren't born with a gold spoon in your mouth or if you had family that have money is if you're you're gonna do some kind of illegal activities and do things outside of like morality to get it and if you want to do that i mean do that but if you want to do it the right way it's going to come with a lot of hard work and it's going to come with a lot of sacrifice so don't look at the people that are at that place where they're doing these things and they're getting like you know all of these nice things because you don't know what they have to do to get it um so another thing that i want to i don't know why i decided to try something different i don't usually use this translucent powder um i usually use like a banana powder but i wanted to try a shade that is like my skin tone because i realized that my makeup has just been looking a little bit too bright for my liking so i'm gonna just um bake with a color that's closer to my skin tone anyway so um i lost my train of thought oh my god i want to say that if you struggle with like comparing yourself like don't do it and also i understand i touched on this like briefly in my previous one of my previous videos about like what i wish i knew before coming to canada for persons that you know you look at other people's life and journey um we're not talking about like the obviously fake things on social media but like people in your life that you look at not just on social media and you realize that you know they're a lot further than you in life or where you thought you would be or maybe you're the same age as them and you haven't accomplished certain things as yet um and you're looking at them to say oh boy this person like you know they have a house and you don't have a house they have a car you know they have a husband and they have children and you want all those things it's like it's it's great to want all of those things and you don't have it um it's it's really easy to get sucked into this um place of like comparing yourself to other people and it makes you feel really bad and sad and depressed and sometimes you don't realize that it's the fact that mentally you're thinking about um you know what everybody else has versus what you don't have that makes you feel like sad on a daily basis or like sad sometimes and you don't know why you're sad um that's sometimes the reason why but all i have to say to you guys is like don't forget that the life that you have right now is worth living don't forget to live in the in-betweens before the in-betweens leading up to your your goal or your like your destination the life that you have right now is enough and as long as you're striving towards something like i feel like that's enough um think about it this way if like you're thinking about or you you've been working towards getting something in life and you were rejected um or you didn't get that job you wanted or your application got denied think about the re the rejection as a redirection okay um this rejection is my redirection say it with me this rejection is my redirection it could be that it's just not your time for that particular thing or maybe there's something better in store for you you know what i mean um i got rejected when i did my study application my study permit application um the first time and i did it again and i got through so just think about 
every rejection that you have in life as a redirection to something greater don't forget to live life in the in-betweens there's so much to be grateful for and to be thankful for in the in-betweens of your life um the the, the small things the day-to-day -day things because those are those are the things that um are helping you to get to where you want to be in the long run and just know that everybody has their issues and their challenges, even for the persons that you look up to or the people that you are comparing yourself to, like they have problems as well. People only show the good things on social media. They only show like, you know, the great things because nobody's going to come on the internet and talk them business like that. I mean, some people do, <laughs> but people are not gonna most for the most part people are not coming on to tell you the bad things they're not coming on to tell you about issues in their marriage right but you're looking at them thinking oh my god she has such a great husband and her husband doing this and that for her and you just want a man for yourself or a husband um you're not thinking about how the the kids are driving them crazy and how they don't have any time for themselves you know what i mean but you you're looking at them thinking oh my god i want kids you know just think about the fact that not everybody's life is perfect and somebody might be looking at you thinking about oh my god i wish i wish i was single like that girl or i had the freedom to do this and that like that girl think about it like that so um that's for the most part all i have to say on this this video is already 20 minutes long um one sec I'm just gonna do my highlighter and for the most part I think that's it that went by quickly and my lip gloss from Fenty Beauty let me know if you guys would like me to do like an actual makeup video even though like I'm not a beauty uh, person really mm. so yeah this is basically the look i'm done um so yeah guys just like my final thoughts on like comparison and social media and like my tips and the things that i've been doing to like get myself out of that like zone and that that, that, that space of comparing myself to other people especially people on social media i limit my time especially tiktok i think i'm going to delete that app it eats at my brain cells so sometimes like you can just delete the app take a break from it um it, it's great sometimes for a good laugh but don't spend too much time on social media try to live like your actual life outside of those things and maybe you don't have a problem with that and that's okay but yeah some people that really have a problem with like being online and being on social media and stuff like that so try to limit your time on social media try to um like live your actual life like in this reality um take walks read books be present with your friends and your family members and if you find yourself comparing yourself to someone online um or someone in your real life that you see on a day-to-day -day basis try to just take like little things from them and take it as like a positive thing like oh like i'm inspired by this person i want to you know try to see if i can like have that kind of a lifestyle but do it in a way that makes sense for you um try to come up with a plan if you you know want to achieve certain things and like not to downgrade yourself and to put the kind of life and lifestyle that you have done um while thinking about somebody else's life because i think that's how comparison um becomes negative is like when you start to think about your life and how less off or less than you are just think about and be grateful for what you already have so that when you see somebody else you can be like oh like i like this person's life and their lifestyle and this that and the third but i also like really like where i am in life right now and i've celebrate um celebrate your wins and just be like i've come really far um and you know just talk good about yourself those are some of the things that like i do like affirmations are real 
you know um, manifestation is real um prayer is real so all of those things help me when it comes on to like compare compare myself to other people and yeah i hope that you guys will do that too and i hope you guys got like something positive from this video although now i feel like i'm rambling and don't forget the rejection is just a redirection don't forget that thank you so much for watching until the end of this video if you did and again don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys